Hello everyone. Uh, this is example number five of chapter three, and for this example, you are given a saturated soil with its dry unit weight moisture content, and uh, you are going to determine saturated unit weight specific gravity and void ratio. So saturated unit weight, gamma saturated, GS specific gravity and void ratio E. And for this problem, again, we are going to use the phase diagram to solve this problem. So this is a saturated soil. So the first step when drawing phase diagram is to determine the correct number of phases. For saturated soil, there are two phases, solids and water. And then we're going to complete the weight and volume sides of this phase diagram. So we have weight, and this is in pound. And then we have the volume side, and this is in uh, cubic foot. Okay, so we're going to first complete this phase diagram, then calculate these quantities. Okay. For this example here, everything is given in terms of ratios. So dry unit weight is ratio, moisture content is ratio, and all the unknowns are ratio. As I mentioned, if everything is given in terms of ratio, it is safe to assume the volume of the solid is 1, or the total volume is 1. So for this example, I am going to assume the total volume is 1. So this time, we're going to assume this total V is 1, okay? because everything is given in terms of ratio. And this problem can be solved equivalent, equivalently by assuming Vs equals to 1, so it's the same. So here, once you assume the total volume is 1, then the next quantity you can figure out on this phase diagram is the weight of solids. So note that the given dry unit weight is defined as weight of solid over total volume. And since we are assuming total volume is 1, then weight of solid is basically gamma d total volume is 103. So this is um, a pound. Okay. So we know that weight of solid is 103. Okay. And then the moisture content is 23%. So moisture content is defined as weight of water over weight of solids. Since you know the weight of solids, then weight of water is basically 0.23. So that's a moisture content times weight of solids is 103. So this is 23.7. Okay. So that's the weight of water. Okay. Then the total weight is the sum of these two, which is uh, 126.7. Okay. So that's the total weight. And then uh, the next is on the volume side. Since we know the weight of water, and then using the unit weight of water, which is a constant, it's weight of water over volume of water. Okay. So the volume of water is weight of water, which is 23.7, divided by unit weight of water, which is a constant, 62.4 PCF. And the volume of water is point three eight zero okay. so that's the volume of water so this is point three eight zero and then the um, volume of solids is total minus volume of water so that's point six two zero okay. so that's a completed phase diagram so we have found the weights and volumes for all phases. And then the next, to calculate these unknown quantities, we just use the basic definitions. Okay, so we start with part A, the saturated unit weight, gamma saturated. By definition, total weight over total volume. So it's, uh, if you plug in numbers, 126.7. And don't forget the unit is PCF. Okay. And uh, volume water here is cubic foot. And then specific gravity, Gs, is by definition gamma s over gamma water. 
So unit weight of solids over unit weight of water. So that's Ws over Vs. So that's gamma S. Then gamma water is a constant. And if you plug in numbers here, so gamma uh, Ws is 103. And volume of solids, 0 0.620 times 62.4. So the specific gravity is 2.66. And then part C, void ratio, E, is by definition volume of the voids over volume of solids. So it's 0 0.380 over 0 0.620. And this gives us 0.61. So that's uh, Example five. Again, the key is to fill out, complete that phase diagram, and then the rest are just basic definitions.